what an incredible opportunity to be part of the 2021 Mandela Washington Fellowship, to be taught and led by a great team of the presidential precinct. My name is Odwan Desi, and I'm from South Africa. I am from Willowvale. It's in the rural Eastern Cape. It's a great landscape of green and golden grasslands. We've got networks of long and meandering rivers and thatched homes. I'm also a proud founder of Men Moving Mountains. Our sole aim. Can we hear me? Our sole aim is to mentor young boys in rural schools and township schools. We have over the 10 years been providing this program. It's an inclusive values-based program where we teach them values such as trust, reliability, respect of self, and their female counterparts. We have had great success stories. Before we started the fellowship, we were able to assist 130 learners. We provided this mentorship, uniform support. We've given them academic and family support. We have seen that there is a great and desperate need for us to intervene, providing good mentorship and role modeling for these young boys. Many of them have no such structures at home. Many of them don't have fathers to lead them and guide them as they grow up. We also run an advocacy for inclusive education. Here we deal with the individuals with different abilities. They have skill, they are worth of value, and we want to show them that we see you and we care. We advocate for their needs and concerns. We've also integrated this work with those who are suffering from multiple violations of their human rights. We've got a human rights advocacy program. We must make sure that they know their rights. They know their values. They know how to treat others and what treatment they should be expecting from them. We want them to be men leading good lives, good successful, successful lives. We are also going to run a boot camp. Here we are going to allow boys to be boys. They learn by doing. It is an interactive learning and development program where we're going to teach them life coaching. We're going to teach them skill sets. We're going to teach them behavioral skills, how to walk perfectly with respect with their female counterparts. It is such a critical intervention that's needed. If we are to change the narrative of how African men and women relate to one another, if we are to change teenage pregnancies, teenage marriages, if we are to end gender-based violence, I make this plea that we now need to refocus our efforts and look to this boy child. I respect the need for the girl child. It must run concurrently with the integrated efforts to raise this boy child. We must change this narrative and Men Moving Mountains has this vision where we want this program, we want these success stories to move from South Africa and to go to every school in Africa. My fellow Africans, I am honored to be part of this cohort. I have learned so much. I have shared insights with you. I now believe even more so that we are ready to take Africa to the level that we all want to see. And I wish to conclude with these following words, fellows. I strongly believe that it takes both hands to form this unity. I strongly believe it takes this integrated approach. I have a saying that I'd like to share. Though a forest fire may burn this whole place, the trees that fall always leave a seed on the ground. Though our African forefathers, as tall and towering giants they may be, they too will fall to the ground. Let us not fear the fire that will sweep Africa. They too have left seeds on the ground. We are those seeds. We are those seeds that will bud into new forests, that will bear fruit of hope and prosperity for our African nation. We are those seeds that bear the solutions to the African needs. So let us dig deep, my African leaders. Let us plant ourselves into this rich African soil. The season has come for us to blossom all these visions, all this hope, all this dream. 
It is time for us to rise and shine. Thank you. May God bless you all and may God bless Africa.